Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. As you can see, I've got this glued in. I have the uh, length going this way, uh, glued together to, uh, within about um, the, the length of the boom. And um, as you can see, uh, one of these is a teeny bit longer than the other. That's not going to be a problem because I was planning to trim those to size anyway. So uh, if I got to knock a millimeter off of one of them, it's not a problem. And uh, as long as this is flat, which it is, so as soon as this is completely dry, I'm going to insert this into the boom. I'm going to line up the magnets, uh, tape them into place, and then I can start uh, dripping CA down uh, from one end and then again from the other. Uh, it should all meet in the middle and uh, this should be sec securely glued into place uh, without the need for any epoxy. I may at this end do something to uh, reinforce uh, a little bit um, how well uh, attached these tubes are. There's a few different options. I could use a little bit of epoxy. I could use a little bit of epoxy with a very small um, patch of uh, fiberglass cloth. Uh, so I would probably just use like 15 minute epoxy for that or 30 minute epoxy real thin squeegee it into the cloth. Uh, the piece of cloth I'm thinking about would uh, probably be about twice as wide as this uh, and maybe a quarter inch long, so smaller than a thumbnail. Uh, the idea being to just kind of glass it into uh, the inside of the tube so that it stays up on the, uh, the top wall of the tube and doesn't move. Um, another way to do it would be uh, to use a small vertical post However you do this, you do not want to plug the uh, tail boom. It has to have airflow. Uh, the reason being that if air pressure is forced into the pod through uh, any air gaps in the um, where the wing meets the fuselage or in the, uh, the hatch, uh, that air will be able to exit out the back of the boom. Uh, the, wind blowing across the back of the open boom will provide a little bit of a negative pressure space uh, and draw out any air that would otherwise get uh, compressed into the, uh, the fuselage and believe it or not that can cause problems. They specifically tell you in the instructions not to block off the boom. You do not want to seal it. So if I did put something in there to, to press upward, uh, it would have to be just like a, a small vertical uh, piece of wood, something that would still allow uh, air to flow through. Okay, so I am ready to glue. I wanted to show you how I'm doing this. I uh, only inserted this in to the point where it was snug. I'll be uh, trimming this later, probably about there. I want to have as much uh, tube as possible, as little um, of the control rod um, uncovered just enough to be able to get m the proper movement out of the control surfaces um, otherwise you can end up with flutter uh, so what I've done is I've placed magnets along this and taped them in place and as you can see it is holding these tubes snugly up against the inside of the boom and there's no twist in other words uh, they come out this way horizontally and they travel along the surface the same way and come out at this end horizontally so now I'm gonna uh, hold this uh, vertically um, with a slight angle uh, and I'm gonna drip CA on either side of these tubes until it comes down to the other end and anchors uh, this in place. I'm going to use as little glue as I can. Uh, so there's no easy way to show this on camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it and then leave it to dry for a while.
because of how long this is and how uh, narrow the tubing is I'm not going to attempt to use any kind of kicker or anything I'm just going to uh, drip uh, some CA in uh, probably from either side. I'm going to start just by doing it from the wider side and then I will uh, see how well anchored it is, give it a little time to dry, uh, test it, and then if necessary add more glue. Uh, but that way I don't add any unnecessary weight. Okay, looks like uh, this has been a success. I've got uh, just some plastic here to uh, hold these apart so they don't uh, glue together. This is the ones that uh, go to the servos. And as you can see down this end, uh, we have them coming out here to go to the V-tail. Everything is very solid. Uh, this, this is very well glued in. Uh, I think this is going to work out very nicely. Right now, I'm just going to leave it to completely dry uh, any of the CA that is still liquid to evaporate. I may not have mentioned it, so I'm just going to say it again in case I, I didn't. I prepped these rods by uh, roughing them up a bit with some 400 grit sandpaper, and then I uh, cleaned them off with denatured alcohol. Uh, to make sure that they would not only adhere to each other uh, when I glued them together, uh, but that they would also adhere well to the um, inside of this carbon fiber tube. Because of the, you know, there's nothing I could do about the inside of the tube. I suppose I could have taken a pipe cleaner and attached it to a uh, long piece of music wire and uh, uh, swabbed it out a little bit with some denatured alcohol, um, but uh, seeing how well they adhered to the inside with the CA glue, I don't think I've uh, missed a major step there. They are very solidly attached, uh, dripping a little bit of CA glue in from either side. I got a few drops out uh, of one end after having um, applied from the opposite, so I definitely got full coverage, and it it's very solid. Um, so this definitely looks like a good way to go. I would love to uh, find out from someone who has built this stock how much of this part weighs. And uh, I'm going to weigh mine uh, after I take out the uh, music wire uh, and uh, take off all the magnets. And um, that'll be an interesting uh, comparison data to see how much lighter this methodology is than using the uh, piece of triangle stock and epoxy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and please subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications every time I launch a new video. Thank you for watching.